We are here with your weekend update. It's not a very big one. We got a couple to tackle, but it's worth making a video about. So let's hop right in. The San Francisco 49ers, as you know, are a hot spot in regards to poaching coaches, signing them to other teams. I mean, the 49ers have had so much success in the NFL with their assistant coaches going on to be coordinators going on to be head coaches. I mean, you look at Mike McDaniel, you look at D'Amico Ryans, you look at Robert Sala and the su success that they've been able to have. And of course, you see Bobby Slowick with the Texans as well, having success as the offensive coordinator. So it's not a surprise that teams are poking around to try to see if they could potentially poach any of the 49ers coaches. Now, so far, we had only really heard of Steve Wilkes uh, interviewing for a couple potential head coaching jobs, but nothing really came to fruition. He interviewed with the Chargers. They obviously signed Jim Harbaugh. So this is the next guy in line. Honestly, it's kind of surprising to me, but the Patriots have interviewed 49ers tight end coach Brian Fleury for their open offensive coordinator position. Now, he is a guy who's been a quality control coach on both sides of the football. He's been with the San Francisco 49ers for the past five years, and he's been the tight end coach. Uh, this will be his second season. So going from tight end coach to OC, that's a really, really big jump, but he does have experience on both sides of the football, so maybe the Patriots see a benefit there, and obviously working under Kyle Shanahan within that system and that structure, he could potentially bring that on over to the Patriots. But this is the first time I've heard him interview for a job so it'll be interesting to see if he is in serious consideration for that job because they hired a defensive minded head coach which means the OC that they hire is kind of like the head coach of the offense so it'll be interesting to see if he ultimately gets that job but I'm not sure what do you guys feel about all these other teams consistently interviewing uh everyone on the 49er staff we already lost Adam Peters to the general uh, general manager position for the Washington Commanders. Are we going to lose any coaches? You guys let me know in the chat below. But we also have some news regarding the game coming up this Sunday. As we heard earlier in the week, tight end Zach Ertz signed with the Lions. And I've seen some comments from fans like, oh, that's a good get for the Lions. That's a guy we need to be concerned about, not necessarily concerned about, but just be aware of. And he could be a guy that could hurt us in this game. Well, uh, I don't think that's going to be the case because Zach Ertz, who was signed to the practice squad, the, the Lions chose not to elevate him in this game. So Zach Ertz will not play against the San Francisco 49ers tomorrow uh, in Sunday's matchup. So. Uh, a lot was made about the signing, about how, oh, you know, the rich get richer. They've got Sam Laporta. Their backup tight end went down with an injury. Oh, they go out and get Zach Ertz. Uh-oh, here we go. The Lions are, you know, stacking. But he's not going to be up. He's not going to play. And I get it. It's a quick turn uh, to try to get ready, uh, learn a playbook, learn a quarterback, learn a, all of that stuff in a week. That's very challenging. So they opted not to bring him up. So no Zach Ertz in this game against the San Francisco 49ers. So far, those are our updates. We don't have any word on the 49ers elevations or any potential roster moves they are going to make before this game. So as soon as we hear word that the 49ers are elevating players, and such we will, of course, share with you. Let me know what you guys think about these updates. Again, nothing earth-shattering, but hey, something worth talking about. Let me know how you're feeling about both of them in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.